welcome back to my channel my name is Tracy if you're new and welcome back to all my existing viewers I have got a Shein haul today um usually it's a clothing haul from me but I kind of I save things in my favorites and I just sort of bought loads of random crap I'll show you what I've got I have got some clothes as well if you like the clothes I'm going to do the other stuff first so you might want to whatever that was go fast forward these are like double-sided sticky pads I didn't need them but I thought they'd come in handy for something that I haven't thought of yet there's 10 in a pack and as usual I'll put all the prices up on the screen because I've not got a clue I bought some of these Which reminds me, if you enjoy this video, give me a cheeky little thumbs up. I might hold one of these up on a stick. <laughs> They're not actually, they are cheeky thumbs ups. But can you see, you stick your cable through them. Uh, really, I ought to have bought a cable. There we go. Right, so I've got my iPhone cable. This one I bought from Amazon. It's a nice thick kind of snake-like rope um i never buy uh apple things because they're too bloody expensive let's go for a pink to make the boys wink so that's what it is it's got a sticky pad on the back and then a thumbs up and then the hole where the cable goes so you just kind of slot your cable through like that you can move it up and down and then you can stick it onto your side. I don't particularly want a pink thing, thumbs up sticking out. I'm going to stick it somewhere where the sun doesn't shine. I'm going to stick it somewhere where it can't be seen. But the reason I bought them is because um, obviously when I don't unplug my um, charger from the socket and that's live and I have got little terriers. I mean, they're not babies anymore. They're soon to be five and soon to be six it's soon to be five and soon to be six um but i just wanted it so i could kind of put it i was trying to lob my cable over the back of my nightstand so i thought if i um stuck that up i could just have that so that's sticking up so there's no chance of the puppies chewing it and they'll be safe that was the reason but i bought those little things now i'm gonna put this cable down here or else I'll be cursing y'all later when I can't find my iPhone cable. Next up, I bought... Oh, can I get it out? I bought this hanger. Mm, you see, I haven't got my glasses now, and I can't get that untangled without the aid of them. I'm going to have to bear with again. Hold on. Right, that was a tingle-tangled mess. <laughs> I bought one of these things you just hang I tend to hang socks and underwear off of them they're really handy I've got a um, I've got some errors that I have in the house when the weather's not very nice um, but I've also got a little short washing line out in my we call it the backyard I've got a back garden with the grass and then I've got a little kind of concrete paved area um, that's got a washing line in it. It's an absolute sun trap. I can get so much dry out there. And these are a godsend. Rather than taking up all rows of um, space on the washing line, you just hang one of these on with, oh, I don't know how many you've got on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. I think it must be 20. Um, really, really handy. I've got a square one, but it's quite an awkward shape and that you have to kind of balance stuff out or else it tips up funny and I saw these and I thought um I'm looking if there was another one I'm sure I got two of these but I thought this would be really handy um I've not used this one but I've got something very similar and they're really good the next thing I bought was a mini bin it's got little feet and it's got a button here that you push and it opens. I bought this for a specific chore. Um, 
I don't know why it's got a bit of leather on the back, so <laughs> I don't know. But I um, have got a tumble dryer. I've got a heat pump tumble dryer. I have actually got a, a video on that. But when you take the lint out of the tumble dryer, I save it in a tin and it's really hard because you've got it and it's all fluffing everywhere and you have to take the lid off the tin. I mean, the answer would be to take the lid off the tin first, but I never think of that. So I've bought this because it's just a quick push button and open. I've bought this as my new lint um, bin and I save my lint and then I use it as a fire starter because I've got a wood burner. So I just thought that's cute. It's pretty. I just wanted it. I saw it and I wanted it and then I thought of a purpose for it. I cannot lie to you. <laughs> right, randomly, there's one sticking out here. I bought some wicks. I haven't got round to it yet. I haven't got the ingredients to make it, but I thought that I would buy some wicks because I was just buying little crappy bits um, for when I make my own candles. So I, I don't know how many's in there, does it say? No, it doesn't say. I think there's probably 20 in there. They weren't expensive and I got those. What else have I got? I got a quill. <laughs> I saw it. It reminded me of Harry Potter and I wanted it. And I got it. Get it out. I don't know why it's in a bag in a bag, but it is. Let's get it out again. Mark two. I know I'm literally the oldest Harry Potter fan in the world. It said na it says natural feather, feather pen. It's nice and light. It's got a little thing on the end. It's just a regular pen. Let's have a little scribble. Writes in black ink. I wanted it because it reminded me of Harry Potter and I'm sorry not so now I've lost the lid. Oh there it is, I found it. I just wanted to write with a quill like they do. Oh it's gold. It must be sprayed. <clears throat> I wanted it and I got it. Right, so put that in the recycling. What else did I buy? <laughs> um I bought some lights. What I will do is I will um, get the batteries in them. They're little rose lights. They come with a battery box. Uh, looks like it takes three double A's in there. They smell a bit plasticky. Uh, doesn't say how many are oh six meters of them so what I'll do is I will get them undone put them where I want to put them and then I'll film that bit and pop it in so I forgot those randomly again I told you this is just such a weird haul I saw this watch and I wanted it I don't wear watches I look at my phone for the time, but I saw it and I wanted it. It's got kind of like um, a scrapbook looking strap. And then the face is the Eiffel Tower. I don't even know if it's going. I can't see it and I don't know if it's got a battery in it. Oh, it's got one of those, it's got something on here. But anyway, I just saw it and I wanted it. That's going to be the theme of this video. The next thing I got was kind of like a little Christmassy thing. It <laughs> that it's a little um, lantern. It's got stags on it, which I suppose makes it Christmassy. But it's for a tea light. 
So you just open it here, you just push that in a little bit, and you can pop your little tea light in there. And I hope it um, projects out a nice little uh, pattern on the night time. Again, I'll put a little clip in, but I've got no use for it. I've got nowhere to put it, but I wanted it. I thought I'd just very quickly show you the little lantern. I was obviously in a writing kind of mode because I got some pens. Actually, there was three of them. I thought that they would be like enclosed in plastic, but they're not. They're quite scratchy. Um, there's another one. There's a blue one that I'm using at the moment. I haven't got my bag to show you, but it they write nicely. I think it's a black ink. It's just a, I just wanted them because they were sparkly. You're all judging me now, aren't you? I got some more lights. I don't know where for. They don't really go with anything in my house, but they were iridescent blue. I saw them and I wanted them. These are two metres of not needed lights. I got this light. Again, it's got batteries, three um, double A's, and this bulb lights up. It's got little flowers on it in the uh, metal thing is the shape of a crescent moon. And then this light bulb just hangs on it. Anyway, I tuck that down there. You put the batteries in the base got a little bit of a glue hair there I just saw it I thought it might go nice on my um you know I've got all different things out in my bedroom on they've got like a white painted shelf here's the, here's the shelf that I was talking about but the uh lamp is too tall to fit in the little slots so I'm going to try and put it on there see if it um, fits on there but I will probably take a photo of it in the night time to show you what it looks like. Again, it was just one of those things that I saw it, I wanted it, I didn't need it. I don't really know why I've bought it, but I've got it. Oh, next up, I bought some shoe racks. I'm sick. I'm sick of there being shoes all over the place in the hall. So I will put this together and then I'll take a photo of it with the shoes out there. I really would like the shoes not to even be in the hall, but um, I don't think I'm going to win that battle. Shall we look at some clothes? Would you look at the colours on this dress? This is just like the Caribbean in a dress. You'll see in my try-on clip, that it was unfortunately a fail for me. This booby part here is weird. My bra shows no matter what I try to do. I I pulled my bra out and wound the tie around my it just and then I had like an under boob of bra showing. Nothing I could do could make it work. I'm just looking at it now, I'm thinking, can you wear it back to front? But I wouldn't because that would be too much of a high neck and I wouldn't like it. It's got the little angel sleeves. It's got a frill on the bottom. It's absolutely beautiful and it's going back. It just it just didn't fit, hang right or fit. The skirt part was fine, the arms were fine. It was just across the bra area, it didn't work for me. Gutted because it's so pretty. Next is another dress. Look at the pretty colours on this one. I love the pale blue and the darker cornflower blue. I liked it on a black base. It's my um, favourite style, so it's got the angel sleeves, a crossover onto a um, fixed elastic waist, and this one just goes down to like an A-line uh, an skirt. I got everything in a 0XL. Um, 
it is a little bit open here, you'll see on the try-on. I don't know if they've kind of size, changed the sizing a little bit on Shein. Zero XL on Shein is a size 16, and I tend to wear a 16. Sometimes I'll wear an 18 um, if I don't want any gaping um, on a, like a shirt dress or something like that. It will just allow for my boobs. But generally everywhere else um, for dresses, I'm a 16. So this one hasn't, it wasn't very generous in the bust area, so it didn't leave a great deal of material to be pinned. Usually you can kind of tuck them over and do pin them up here, but this one didn't, wasn't, felt like it wasn't generously cut, but the color is just so pretty. This next dress is almost autumnal in color. It's kind of got a paisley-ish pattern to it, but it just gave me, um, kind of this with a pair of tan cowboy boots kind of vibe, that kind of hot summer country look. Um, it's got the angel sleeves. This one has actually got a concealed zip down the back. I got it on without it because I just can't do these. And there isn't even a coat. There Sometimes they've got a little hook in them, a little hole in the hook, and you can coat hanger them up. But I just, I couldn't do that. And I got it on without. It's also got a tie up around the bust area but I was just really attracted to the colours of it. You know the dress that I showed you earlier, the one that I said wasn't very generously cut? I got it sister. This one's in a beautiful purple colour. I'm so attracted to these kind of lilacs and purples. I think it was because I was just a massive Prince fan in the 80s but I love anything purple. I'm just going to say I like it on a black base. I think this would look beautiful on a white base as well. I wish they'd done that. So this is exactly the same. Unfortunately, again, this one isn't very generously cut around the boob area. So if you're more pear-shaped, um, this would be lovely for you. But I kind of fill my stuff out at the top more. Angel sleeves that are really, really flattering on your kind of upper arm. Faux crossover down to the elastic waist. Again, it's got no frill, just goes straight down to an A-line. But I just love this colour. Final dress. This one has actually got a little bit of a shorter sleeve. I, I'm not usually that fond of that. This one does look a little bit like a dishcloth. It's quite creased up. I've had them in the bags. My usual um, faux wrap, this one hasn't got an elasticated waist, but it has got this frill that is going from the waistband all the way down and it kind of matches in with the frilly sleeves. And then the frill goes all the way along the bottom and it's got a material belt with it as well. I've actually got a play suit from Shein that I wear to death and it's in just a tiny bit duskier pink than this, but that's also polka dot. As you can see, I've got it in a Zero XL, which is a UK 16. It's got the loops to put your, your belt through. And like I say, it's got a frill on the bottom as well as the frill around the side. But yeah, I, it's a really nice light material when it gets hot in the summer. I really suffer, I get so hot. So I think this will be perfect and lightweight then. Um, but this is the sort of thing I'd wear to work. It's the sort of thing I'd wear out shopping. So yeah, I thought that was really, really pretty. I feel like I've got something missing. I bought some, um, you know, I bought the candle thingies. There's, there's the round pads that you stick in the bottom of the container and then you stick that part to it so the wick doesn't float around. I bought some of those and I don't know where they are. I'm not gonna lie. My room's a pigsty. And while I was looking for those floaty, uh, floaty, for the sticky candle things, I found another dress. Let me just pop it on a hanger and I will show it to you. This dress is, I was going to say it's a little bit different for me. Don't get excited, it's not, it's not that different. What it is, is another dark floral. Again, very autumnal colours. Very wrap onto a... Mm, that's interesting. I was going to say onto a ah, 
onto a elasticated waist. I could see the belt loops and I couldn't see that, but I'd left it in the bag. So it's got a material tie um, belt. I know a lot of people when I watch hauls, I love clothing hauls, and they always say, oh, I don't like these material ones. I'm gonna go and put my own belt on. I quite like them. Um, so this is just, um, it's quite short at the front. You'll see this in the try on. I mean, I'm not that uncomfortable with a short skirt. I know I really ought to be at heading towards 56, but I'm not. <laughs> so I, it wouldn't really bother me. But what it has got is a long back. Let me know, probably better if I showed it that way. Look. Oh, and I didn't turn my phone off. Right, so here you can see in the change of colour, that is the front of the skirt and how long the back is. So the back kind of hangs down lower than the front of the dress. You'll see it in the try on. Um, but I just thought that was a little bit unusual. It's got kind of like a, almost like a cap sleeve. Hasn't, it doesn't look very floaty. Um, I think all the floatiness is gonna come from the uh, bit at the back. But yeah, I just thought it was something a little bit different for me. And uh, I was just attracted to it, so I got it. And that, my lovely ladies, is everything that I got from Shein. I'm gonna scurry off now. Well, it's still quite daylighty out, but I'm gonna go and put batteries in things and um, pop them around the house where I'm going to be putting them anyway. And then I will go and film that and I'll slot it in uh, into the video. I hope you enjoyed my video. I know it was probably the most random haul I've ever done. <laughs> Just swish and thick. If you know, you know. <laughs> but I just wanted them and I bought them. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy my video. Please give me a cheeky little... Can't hold it. Thumbs up. If you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video, which will be Saturday, which will be what I wore this week. Take care, my loves. Bye.